as Georgia Tech will serve to open up play. Bianca Bertolino will serve. Had a tough serving night last night. Still at 61 service aces on the year, the best on the Georgia Tech squad. Three more, she ties the single season record. And we're underway from Gainesville. Right side, Kennedy Martin. Could have predicted that as Kennedy Martin drills one home. And the Gators are on the scoreboard first. Best of five sets tonight. First one to win three. He's moving on to the round of 16 as Sophia Victoria, who late now here in her senior season has been serving for Florida. Right side attack and it's the roof for A.C. Fitzpatrick who just was inserted into the lineup. The other outside hitter opposite of Sophia Victoria up alongside of Nady Okamore and that was a big roof for the ACC all freshman member Larissa Mendez. 2-0 Florida and the service error serve goes back to Georgia Tech and the Yellow Jackets will send back one of their middle blockers, Liv Mogridge. Wasn't called on much offensively last evening, only five looks. She serves it here for the Yellow Jackets. Kanan, who's back in the lineup for Florida with the pass there. Outside, first look for Otene. Gators block it back to the right side. Mendez off the forearms of McKissick to Fitzpatrick. And her first look is long and wide. And we're tied early here at two. Yellow Jackets in winning last night have now won at least one match in the NCAA tournament in four straight seasons. Right side attack, Mendez. Gator blocker slowed it down. Kennedy Martin tried to take a swing to catch the defense napping for Georgia Tech, but to no avail, it's an attack error in Georgia Tech with the lead. Gators, five of five in their last 10 matches. Getting to the finish line with a tough SEC slate. Eight SEC schools in the NCAA tournament. AM and Auburn already out, losing in first round matches. AM at Texas yesterday. Auburn at Louisville to Western Michigan. Kentucky winner yesterday, Florida a winner. Here's a serve for Trinity Adams, who's checked in for the Gators, tied at three. Just a tip shot across by Otene. Right side, Kennedy Martin delivers the kill. Another look. The back set from Muff to Martin, Kennedy, Kennedy, Kennedy to Kennedy connection. What a story Kennedy Muff is. Division two Flagler. And here now, setting in a Division one NCAA tournament. Second round match. Gators will go to the middle and Gabby Essex delivers. Gabby Essex had a season high eight kills last night in the win over Florida Gulf Coast University. Hitting 538. Another look from another angle and players on the Florida bench erupt. Great chemistry with this Florida squad as Adams serves yet again for Florida. Otene on the outside. Gators block it back. Otene plays it up. Mendez off hands. And Adams can't quite get there. Larissa Mendez. Had 12 kills and hit 458 last night. The most kills by a Georgia Tech freshman in an NCAA de debut match. As she goes to the bench. Georgia Tech runs a 6-2, so here is fellow freshman, Eloise Suarez, also named to the ACC All-Freshman team. Right side attack, tip shot for Martin. Great up by the libero. Pimentel, and that attack is long. So the attack error there for Mafedo Minyang. And that'll bring Kennedy Martin to the back row now to serve in this rotation. Gator high 31 aces on the year. Not a great pass out of system. Who will play it over? Free ball. Florida played by Adams. 
Muff with the block cover. A.C. Fitzpatrick, the emotional and enthusiastic leader of this Florida team. Hits it off the block attempt there of DeAndra Pierce in the middle for Georgia Tech. Three-point Florida lead. Shank pass, Otene. She'll take the swing now off the net, the roll shot. Adams got a hand on it, redirected by Muff. Pierce delivers the kill. The junior from Austin, Texas, the recipient of the quick middle set, probably her best look. Quick delivery, quick swing for Pierce, who had a career-high 11 kills last night in the win over South Alabama. It was a key part of their offense. Kennedy Martin from the back row. That's called the Bick, the quick middle set. Back row swing for Otene, dug up by Adams. Tip shot for Fitzpatrick. Right side laser beam there for Afedo Mignon. Georgia Tech to within one. A 4-5 seed matchup tonight. Expect a hotly contested match between the team from the ACC, Georgia Tech, as that one sails long, and the SEC, Florida. Defense has ruled so far as Florida only 154 in the efficiency category and Georgia Tech only 71. Libero McKissick serves it for Florida. Outside to Bertolini. Essex tried to push. Essex tries to tip it across, but it won't go. Georgia Tech within one. The quick set to Essex. He tries to push it. Just ball caroming around, and Essex couldn't redirect over. Back row attack, Martin Block. She plays it up. Victoria, severe angle shot. Suarez goes outside. Bertolini with the kill. Bertolino had a tough night last night for Georgia Tech from serve and also only hit 115 against South Alabama. She's due for a better night tonight. Joust won by Muff there. Bertolino blocked. But it is pushed right across the net back and Georgia Tech surges into the lead. Redirected by Liv Modric at the net. Server Pimentel. All the way out to Victoria on the outside and she misses it long. Mary Wise with a calming influence up off the Florida bench. Maybe did a little much with that swing. Keep it in play and play defense. I'm guessing was probably the message. Not a great pass, Adams. Victoria on the outside. There's a lot of mustard on that hot dog. Sophia Victoria rears back when it looked like trouble for Florida. Muff had to make a long run to get to it at the left antenna. And Victoria just goes up and gets it. Georgia Tech's lead cut to one and back in and serving. Here's Emily Canan for Florida. Nady Okamore on the other side of the rotation. Now in the front row in the middle blocker spot for the Gators. Bertolino off hands. She's rip and ready to go. Again, after an off night last night, went 6 3, 26. Only 1 15 was not efficient and had issues from the serve line as well. Again, a two point Georgia Tech lead at 11 9. And here is Bella D'Amico. The other setter in the two-setter offense that is run by Georgia Tech. Sophia Victoria unloads on another one from the left pin for Florida. And the Gators draw within one. Muff, perfect set. Maybe a step or two in from that left sideline and got the seam in the block. Muff serves for Florida. That one long, but played. 
by Otene. Mendez from the left side, dug up by Canaan. McKissick will have to play it off the forearms, out to Victoria. And she hit the antenna. Again, a two-point lead for Georgia Tech. Bertolino from Argentina. The top spin serve. Right side, Martin. High off hands it goes. Somehow Georgia Tech got it back across. I think it was Modridge. This time a no-doubter from the right pin from Kennedy Martin. And her third kill on the evening. She has led the Gators 23 times in kills on this season. Emily Canan celebrates like no other either there in the foreground. And Florida has pulled to within one. Victoria, just long. Mogridge to serve here for Georgia Tech. Last night had one service error during her serve runs. Quick middle set to Okamore. Great up there by D'Amico. An attempt at the roll shot is short by Otene. Gators within one at 13-12, and here is that swap. Middle for DS, DS for middle. Essex in, Canan out. Okamore out, and in serving is Trinity Adams on the other side of the rotation. Florida subs, middles for DS's around the horn. Right side, Mendez, Gators block it. Nice blocks, cover by Pimento. And that one's in, severe angle shot kill for Otene. Worth another look at this, watch the severe angle. Thumb down, gets it off to her right. Two point Georgia Tech lead. And back in is Suarez as D'Amico out. Again, a 6-2 offense for Georgia Tech. A.C. Fitzpatrick delivers a ball deep in the back left corner of Georgia Tech. Boom. Late trying to get over there for blocking assistance was Pierce. Pierce on the other side of the rotation from the other setter. Kennedy Martin serves. Otene powers it through Muff and Gabby Essex. Georgia Tech, the first team to 15 here in the opening set. So we get a mandatory timeout here. It's the four and five seed doing battle on the Gators home court in Gainesville. And currently Georgia Tech with the upper hand by two. Back in Gainesville, Florida, Georgia Tech at the first break here in the opening set with a two-point lead. How have they gotten to this point? Well, it's been with a balanced attack. This is what they did last night. And as I mentioned, one name you don't see on the list is Bertolino, who's making her presence felt already tonight. And the setters in the 6-2 offense for Michelle Collier have spread the wealth. All of the hitters in the match with at least one kill to this point for Georgia Tech. And after the timeout, the service error, and Florida draws back to within one. That'll bring to her turn in the serve for Ellie McKissick. Second in all-time Gator history in digs. Bertolino with the off-speed shot. Somehow Victoria got there. Back row attack, Martin tips it into front left. Pimentel got there. Gators block it, but it goes off of Victoria and Essex out of bounds. Martin with the tip and Pimentel from the back row sprints in to get it. And the right side kill off the block for Mignon. Pimentel serves the libero for Georgia Tech. Sophia Victoria tries a really severe cut shot. And Mary Wise up off the Florida bench. Will she take a timeout here? No, it looks like she'll keep the two in her back pocket for now. A three-point Georgia Tech lead. 
tough one. Has to be played by McKissick in back right. An opportunity for Georgia Tech in transition. And they'll get a kill from Modridge. Mary Wise up off the bench. Will she motion to Tony Cothran for a timeout? She will take a timeout here as Georgia Tech has come out after a slow start offensively. And now with 10 kills in the opening set as both D'Amico and Suarez have spread the wealth. All of the hitters have at least one kill for Georgia Tech. And when you have diversity at the net, hard for an opposing team to commit to blocking or focusing on one area to block when you've got to worry about covering the whole net. That diversity from antenna to antenna has played well for Georgia Tech to this point, forcing the Florida timeout and a four-point lead for the Yellow Jackets. These teams have only met once before. That was back in 2012 here in Gainesville, a 3-1 Florida win. And there's a name that we've raised quite a bit this past season, Jeeva Rachek. She set the Florida freshman record of 440 kills, which was surpassed just recently at the end of the regular season by Kennedy Martin. Jeeva Rachek won the ABCA National Freshman of the Year Award that year. The second Gator to do that feat. The first was Kelly Murphy. Went on to play, of course, in the Olympics, U.S. national team. So Kennedy Martin in great company. And at times, she has just carried this team. Florida, to be successful, has to get kills from the three pin hitters. Martin, Fitzpatrick, and Victoria. They have seven kills collectively, but the hitting efficiency, especially for Victoria, has been down. Gators will go to the middle and the slide play there. It's Gabby Essex with the kill. Yes, Essex not quite all the way to the antenna, but found an opening in the block to get Florida back to within three. Canan checks in. Okamore checks in. Out to the outside to Bertolino. Up from Canan. Draws applause from the crowds. But Victoria is blocked. The roof by Afedo Mignon. Two blockers were there in position. Mobridge was there as well. And a four-point lead again for Georgia Tech. D'Amico, the 1A setter for Yellow Jacket, serves it in the net. Georgia Tech with some errors to help keep Florida within striking distance. Fourth service error there in the opening set for the Yellow Jackets. That one's long as Mendez at the left pin sails one out. Florida pulls to within two. And Michelle Collier doesn't like the way momentum is trending and will take a Yellow Jackets timeout. This is the Yellow Jacket team, which finished fourth in the ACC, tying for the championship this past season. Pittsburgh and Florida State. Louisville finishing in the third position, and Georgia Tech right behind them in fourth. A conference mark of 13 and 5 on the year for Georgia Tech. This is a chance with the break here to do a random check of action going on tonight in the NCAA tournament. Penn State leads Kansas in another 5-4 matchup. Penn State the five seed, Kansas the four. Purdue and Marquette just getting underway. At Purdue, the three seed, Marquette the six seed. TCU now and Florida State playing in Fayetteville. And TCU with a two sets to one lead over the five seed Florida State. That is a first round match. Here is a look at the bottom left of the bracket. That's the 
Pittsburgh region. Louisville beats Wright State to play. They're playing tonight against Western Michigan. Auburn out of the SEC, one of the losses I mentioned earlier. Auburn a seeded team, but one of eight teams in the NCAA for the Southeastern Conference, but they and Texas a and already out with first round losses. After the Georgia Tech called timeout, here's the serve for Kennedy Muff of Florida. I can't see what Mark Prather called on the, the ball there that popped back across the net, but Gators had a great block set up there against Bertolino on the Yellow Jackets right side, and Florida has pulled to within one. Can they pull even here? Overpass. Whoa, that skipped across the net. Victoria rolls shot. Otene will play it up. There's the foot speed of McKissick getting that ball in front left for Florida. And Kennedy Martin with the push. Got it over the libero who had crept in in Pimentel. Look to the right of your screen. Pimentel coming in, but it goes over her. Great placement by the freshman, Kennedy Martin for Florida. Florida has drawn even. Gators on a 4-0 scoring run, right side. Bertolino will get some hands at the net. And Georgia Tech retakes the lead, 2019. Now here down the stretch, it's about execution. Avoiding mistakes. Whether it be attack errors or here while serving as Bertolino serves it. A bullet, overpass, look out below. Oh, but it's played up by Canaan. Martin with the push. Out to Otene. Gators block it back. Mendez stuff blocked by Gabby Essex. Excuse me, Okamore is back in. I beg your pardon. Sophia Victoria up alongside on her left shoulder. And that's what you'll get from Nady Okamore. A big smile, but tempered enthusiasm as it's 20 all. And Emerson Hoyle in a tough spot has to come in off the bench and serve. Tied at 20 20, it's an error. Mary Wise and the coaching staff looking to give Georgia Tech a different look, maybe something they had truly scouted for. Out to A.C. Fitzpatrick. Off hands, the kill for A.C. Fitzpatrick. That is a senior play for Fitzpatrick, who had her first two seasons at Penn State. It looked like trouble, but Ellie McKissick off the forearms gets it out to the left pin for A.C. to terminate. We're tied at 21. Trinity Adams in, Essex in for Florida. Adams with a one-handed save. Fitzpatrick will roll shot it across. Gators block it! It's Gabby Essex! Gabby Essex with the big stuff block. Fitzpatrick moving to her left with Essex. Wow. Essex seventh in the SEC at 1.25 blocks per set. A big one there with a one point Florida lead. To the right side to Mendez. Adams got a hand on it, but no one can get to it as it falls beyond the end line. We're tied at 22. Changes for Georgia Tech again. Out goes Mendez. In comes Suarez. Also in is Min Yang. Big point, and it's in the net. The service error, so Florida had one from Emerson Hoyle, and Georgia Tech with one here. And Florida with one point lead at 23-22. Georgia Tech with two more service errors than Florida, 5-3. A bullet serve, pass made, Otene. She'll get the attack, and she'll get blocked by Gabby Essex. On her right shoulder was Kennedy Muff. 
But Gabby Essex, worth another look with the stuff. And the reaction from Kennedy Muff is classic. As if she couldn't believe it. But Gabby Essex, as I mentioned, 1.25 blocks per set, seventh in the conference. Nady Okamore at 1.27, third in the conference. The Gators with almost 2.7 blocks per set, second in the SEC. Florida has relied on and been carried by in points during this season by Kennedy Martin. 18th in D1, first in the SEC with 4.36 kills per set. She vaulted into first place in the league with back-to-back -back over 20 kill matches against the likes of Tennessee and Kentucky earlier in the season. And seven double-doubles on the year. The last one recorded by Kennedy Martin was last night against Florida Gulf Coast in the first round match. 14 kills, 11 digs, and she hit 444 in the match last night. You see the kills, 471, and adding to it tonight with four on the evening. And she gets the serve at set point for Florida. Gators were down by four. Pulled even, it's been back and forth since. Everyone in Exact Tech Arena here in Gainesville on their feet. Multiple chances at set point for Florida here. For Georgia Tech, they've got to score two points consecutively. Florida with a chance to Fitzpatrick. High off hands it goes. Out to Otene. Dug up. Who will play it across? A free ball for Georgia Tech. Gators got a touch on the block and play it up and go to Fitzpatrick again. Up by Pimentel. The up from McKissick goes across the net. Tip shot played up by Fitzpatrick. Back row attack, Martin high up the air. It goes, and Kennedy Martin delivers her fifth kill of the opening set to give Florida the opening set victory, 25 to 22. They trailed by as many as four, about two thirds through the way of the first set, and they come back to take it by three. Florida one set to none as Kennedy Martin delivers the exclamation point to end the first frame. Number four seed Florida ends the first set on a three nothing scoring run after a service error, a gator block and a kill by Kennedy Martin to end the first set. And Kennedy Martin, the offensive story for Florida in the opening frame, finishes with five kills, including the decider at the end from the right side primarily, but she's also effective as we saw at set point from the back row to end the first set. Florida through one set, 132, Georgia Tech just 89. And the big stat that stands out to me here is Florida with five big blocks and more digs, the effort stats, and the Gators committing two fewer service errors. Both teams must be aggressive serving the ball to try to serve the other team out of system and set up block opportunities. And five points, Florida gets off of service errors from the Yellow Jackets. Florida will serve to open up the second frame. Florida will send Kennedy Muff to serve. Gators on the season after winning the first set are 13 and three. Into Mogridge and Mogridge misses it wide. Going around the Gator block. Each team had 12 kills in that opening set, but Florida more efficient on its looks. And again, the three blocks differential. We have a challenge. The challenge is for a touch. Let's see if we can get another look here from our terrific crew.
in Gainesville. Here's the swing, and is that Kennedy Martin's left hand or the middle blocker coming over for Florida? On the left side of your screen, I believe that is Okamore. Tough to tell from that angle. A two referee crew tonight here in NCAA tournament play. If you watch during the SEC regular season, the SEC employs three. The R3 would be the dedicated replay official here in the NCAA tournament. The R1 tonight is Mark Prather. The R2 is Tony Cothran. You see him there pointing at the screen and using the the mouse there or the joystick mouse combination to take a look at what is on the screen. Here's another look at it. We know Okamore in the middle there is out of the picture. On the right side, is it Kennedy Martin? The two big hands at the right side of your screen there. And here is the call forthcoming. There is a touch call. So, well played, Michelle e. Collier. She wins the challenge and will keep two in her back pocket. You lose it. The challenge, that is, you lose that from your wallet. So, one nothing Georgia Tech right off the bat. And another service error as serving not to her normal standard is Bertolino. And we're tied at one. Florida up one set to none if you just joined us. 25-22 as A.C. Fitzpatrick serves for Florida here. And to the right side, it's Larissa Mendez who had the most kills by a Georgia Tech freshman in an NCAA tournament debut last night. We touched on that in the first set. And on the evening to this point, Mendez with three. She also has three attack errors. There's a good look at Bear Tolino. International flavor, she is from San Guillermo, Santa Fe, Argentina. Outside set to Victoria. And Victoria takes something off with some top spin and keeps it in. We're tied at two. Muff pushes it a long way over to the outside, not all the way to the pin, a couple steps in, finding a sweet spot for Victoria to make the kill. Essex in, and a short serve in from Trinity Adams. Right side, Mendez, Gators stuff lock. Sophia Victoria. as the Gator block party weekend continues. Another short serve from Adams. One-handed set. Pierce pushes it across. To earn just her second kill on the evening. She was successful last night. As you see, Kennedy Martin trying to extend the left hand out to get to it. She was successful last night, was Pierce, a career high 11 kills against South Alabama. So trying to get the ball to the middle. Mary Wise asking for a clarification on that last play from Tony Cothery. Not certain what that discussion might have been about, but we're tied at three here. Early moments in the second set. That one's just out, just floated long. Line judge right on it over there in that corner. Had a good shot at it. As here is Kennedy Martin to serve it for Florida. The service ace leader on the year with 31 coming into action tonight. Adams next with 30. Trouble. Steered across by Otene of Georgia Tech. Essex with the tip. And Otene and Pierce on their way down. The tip caught him off guard. 
way to disguise it and she had the arm behind her head and then just stopped motion, forward motion and tipped it for the kill. Up from Kennedy Martin and hit the scoreboard. And since it went across the net, it's called out of bounds. If that would hit the scoreboard and stayed on Florida's side, the Gators could play it. That's the way the rule reads. As Martin just looks up at the scoreboard and chuckles. When you dig up a ball like that, you want to play on. Essex misses one just long, and we're tied at five. This is a Georgia Tech team that has been through the battles of the ACC with the likes of Florida State, Louisville, the national finalist last year, Pittsburgh in the final four last year. Muff with the set across the net. Ooh. Mignon with the kill. And Georgia Tech takes the lead. Mignon last evening had nine kills. Just one shy of a double digit number, hit 333, was effective in the Yellow Jackets offense. Back row Martin, tip shot, tipped it too short. So Georgia Tech extends the lead to two here. As Florida members of the serve receive team. Victoria, McKissick, and Adams encourage each other. And Otene with the service error. That's eight against Georgia Tech. Florida within one. McKissick prepares to serve. Caught some net. That'll put a dent in the floor. DeAndre Pierce. Wow. That's a quick set and just went around Essex. Muff was out near the pin defensively for Florida there. Right side Essex, great up though from Suarez. Baird Tolino, the up from McKissick. Right side, Mignon. This one won't hit the scoreboard. It's in the back row. Otene, the up. Bear Tolino off hands. Gator blockers are touching a lot of balls. AC Fitzpatrick blasts it through Mignon and Mogridge. That was just rare back and give it all you got. Wow. Senior Fitzpatrick, who has 15 double digit kill matches on the season. Last against South Carolina here on the 22nd, next to last match of the year. Out to the right side, but no one's there to play it. Just a free ball. Or should I say, attack it. And quickly to the slide in transition. Muff goes to Okamore at the right antenna. Great look from behind as Okamore extends and angles it back across the court. There's a service ace. Emily Canan with a big service ace there. 20 now on the season for the sophomore from Allen, Texas. Bertolino winds up and hits it off hands for the kill. <laughs> Tied at nine, Bertolino. Junior outside. First team, all ACC selection. Second team last year, and on the all freshman team the year before. Okamore down the line this time. What a great save, one-handed by 
Pimentel. And Baird Tolino off the net. Gives Georgia Tech the lead again with her fifth kill. Taking that over her right shoulder from a set from the back row. Quite the shot there from Bertolino. Martin misses long. Two point lead for Georgia Tech. This set following almost a similar path from the last opening frame. Georgia Tech led at the media break at 15. You're up by two now. Tip shot. Georgia Tech keeps it alive. Uh-oh. She plays it too far. The up from McKissick, though, bailing out Canaan. And A.C. Fitzpatrick wails away. A.C. Fitzpatrick, great approach, and hits it off hands. Tooling the block. A.C. Fitzpatrick, instant energy for this Florida team. Now with five kills, tying Martin for team high. Mendez with the left hand, sleight of hand. Martin drills one. That's just way too much to handle for Bella D'Amico there, just beyond the 10-foot line and back right for the Yellow Jackets. Mogridge late getting there to close the block. If I'm Georgia Tech, I think I'm going to commit a lot to blocking the Florida freshman. Canaan with the up, and it shoots out of bounds. Talking about a lot of pace. That shot certainly had a lot of pace, pace on it. Here's Bertolino. Fitzpatrick plays the ball up over the scores table. Unbelievable roll shot from the left sideline. And it's good for A.C. Fitzpatrick. She's got all the shots. Pimentel started to reach and said, wow, that's going to be in. Fitzpatrick with a bullet. It's a service ace for A.C. Fitzpatrick. Her 13th ace on the season. Boy, I'd love to have a speed radar gun on that one. Florida takes the lead 13-12. It's Patrick Reddy's. Fasten your seatbelt. Here it comes. Otene with the pass. Right side, Mendez. Gators block it back. Bertolino with the block cover. And there's a touch called. So credit the kill to Mendez. We're tied at 13. I think Mary Wise is going to challenge this. She's got the card in hand, and she will address that with Tony Cothran and take the challenge. Challenge the call of a touch. Gators will challenge the previous play. Gators touch saying there was no touch. Now it's time for our R2 Tony Cothran to take a look at the monitor and do his work as replay official as well. We'll get another look here. Now that's, to me, the hands from Okamore are already down. They're below when the ball crosses. Great look from our crew. Yeah, I think that's past Okamore's hands. Let's take one last. Let's, yeah, we're just jogging it back and forth, trying to get the best look that we can. See, her hands are on the way down. Then she tries to reach back with the right hand, but the ball's already passed. I think that's going to be a Florida win on the challenge and a reversal. And one of the staff of Georgia Tech stepped out into the wood grain of the court, and that's a no-no. I mean, the teams are using it basically as a timeout, but they can't go inside the sidelines. 
anyone on the staff. The players have to stay on the court, can't leave the court outside the sideline, and staff, coaches can't go into the wood grain of the court as it is here at the Exact Tech Arena. Sure taking a lot of time to look at this one. We've got a, maybe another look or two. Yeah, I don't see anything to indicate to me that there was a touch. One more look at it. Whoever's on replay jogging that back and forth is giving us a great opportunity to see the hands, I think, are down when the ball passes. So let's see what the, does. My opinion doesn't matter. The ball is out. So Florida, Mary Wise wins the challenge. There was no touch. So. It's an attack error instead of a kill. And Florida now 14-12 instead of 13-all. Can Florida get to the media timeout here? Whoa, caught a little net. Mogridge delivers her most authoritative swing of the weekend. That was a no-doubter. She'll serve it here for the Yellow Jackets. Victoria makes her presence felt again. She's been trying to get back on the track because she was hitting in the negatives. But she gets Florida to the immediate timeout with a two-point lead. Gators up a set and leading by two here in the second frame in Gainesville as another look at Sophia Victoria with a well-struck angle shot and celebrates after. Coming out of the media timeout here in the second frame, Florida up by two. Whip around coverage of first and second round action right here on ESPN Plus as the road to Tampa continues. Should be a lot of fun in the Tampa Bay area. Gators trying to get there, only about two and a half hour drive from here in Gainesville. Long road ahead. Pierce, the net was friendly. Martin lost track of it on the Florida side of the net, and Tech pulls within one. Checking back in is Suarez and Mignon. Mendez and D'Amico out. Two setter offense. Here's the second setter, the freshman for. Georgia Tech. Mark. Adams found it over her shoulder. Great up from Bertolino. Florida block slows it down for McKissick. Kennedy Martin. Her teammates and the coaches call her Kmart. That was a blue light special. Long approach, then the push tooling it off the hands. Now she'll serve it. Pierce missed it. Florida with a three-point lead. Gators with two service aces on the night. Fitzpatrick and Canan. Otene. As Essex tried to slip the left foot out there to play the ball up, but to no avail. Otene serves it now for Georgia Tech. First to look, though, at her last swing. Hits it off of Kennedy Muff. Victoria off speed, played up by Suarez. Bertolino down the line for the kill. For Bianca Bertolino. She has gotten on track tonight after a rough night last night in efficiency. She's got the Yellow Jackets within one. 
And a service ace for Otene. First of the evening for Georgia Tech. We're knotted up at 17. Long approach of the jump float. Essex. For so many years in this Mary Wise led program, that middle blocker streaking to the right antenna on the slide play, taking off on one foot, has been a staple. And Essex, when she first got here as a freshman, really didn't have that shot in her repertoire. It's been added as the years have gone on. Now a junior Gabby Essex, who had a career season high, I should say. Eight kills last night. Tough serve. Free ball sent across. Muff goes to the back row. Up from Otene. Another free ball opportunity for Florida. Where will Muff go? Again the back row, and it's long. Florida Gators saying there's a touch. Led by Muff and Fitzpatrick saying there was a touch. Mary Wise will use the challenge card here. Pimentel for Georgia Tech was very animated on the Yellow Jackets side. And indicating there was no touch. And we'll see what our down official, our R2 Tony Coffin has to say about that. The officials using their hand signals to give word about what the challenge is for. One is touch, two is in or out challenge. Three is a net fault or a net violation. Four is a tack line fault. We saw that last night quite a few times. As here's another look. That's Pimentel who I was mentioning earlier was being very animated saying there's no touch. Trying to pull those arms out of the way. Four is a tack line fault, as I mentioned. Five is a service footfall. I don't know if there's enough there. And really don't know if there's conclusive video evidence to overturn. Got the best look from behind the Georgia Tech court. A lot of grim looks over there at the scorer's table. A lot of interested parties, though, checking it out. The only one that matters is the guy with the joystick wheel there, Tom Cothran, excuse me, Tony Cothran. Here's another look at it. Does the ball change rotation after it goes by her? I, I can't tell. What a great look, though, from our crew here in Gainesville. The decision is in. And the challenge of Florida is denied. So no touch the ruling. Florida players. Here's Pimentel to serve it. Florida lost the challenge there, so they're down to one. Tough serve to handle. Fitzpatrick right into a double block with Mignon and Mogridge. Georgia Tech looking for his first true road win in an NCAA tournament here in Gainesville tonight. Now up by one in the second set. Muff, back set, tip shot, kill, Gabby Essex. Essex continues to rack up kills on the weekend. That's four on the night here. And she will check out and give way to Emily Kanan as Nady Okamore will check in for Trinity Adams because that position has rotated to the front row. Kanan. 
already with a service ace on the evening. Bertolini missed it long. Not by much. But Bertolini having a much better night tonight to this juncture than last night. Seven kills, two errors, 17 attacks. The Gators have a one point lead late here in this second frame. Michelle Collier wants to figure it out for Georgia Tech as associate head coach Claudio Pinheiro dominates the conversation early. Let's go and take a look now at what Bertolino has done on this evening here in the second round for Georgia Tech. First team all ACC selection. Tools the block there. Overpowers Canan. Canan dives to try to make that play. And she's got the line shot too. And she goes down the line for that last kill we saw in the highlights. Seven kills on the evening for Bertolino to go with eight digs. One of the premier performers in the at Atlantic Coast Conference for Georgia Tech. And Bertolino, we've said she's had an off weekend serving it, but coming into action in the tournament, she led all power five conference hitters with almost .6 aces per set. And this past two summers, she played on Argentina's national team. So a world of experience for the leader for Georgia Tech in Bertolino. Otene averages more kills per set on the year. That two-headed monster is tough. Out to Bertolino. Tip shot. McKissick got there, but Florida can't get it up after that. We're tied at 20. Substitutions for Tech as tomorrow. Excuse me, Bella D'Amico checks back in. She'll serve it here. The other setter for Georgia Tech. And Larissa Mendez checks back in. Watch her on the right side. Muff goes to the slide. Tip shot. Bertolino. Fitzpatrick, off speed shot. And D'Amico trying to roll out of the way of a diving. Larissa Mendez, just, just too tough. The tip shot in the front right, and you see, trying to get out of the way, rolling was Bella D'Amico. Florida with one point lead and serve now with Kennedy Muff. Tough serve. It's an ace for Kennedy Muff as she pumps the right fist to give Florida a two point lead and force a Georgia Tech timeout. That ball, the bottom just dropped out, and Otene could not get there even with the diving attempt to try to make that pass in serve receive. Forcing this Yellow Jacket timeout. Called for by Michelle Collier. Let's take another look at the bracket. Top left of your bracket, the Nebraska region. TCU takes out seeded Florida State in four. That match played at Fayetteville, Arkansas. Arkansas taking on Stephen F. Austin in the nightcap there. Another seeded team, James Madison, swept by Baylor. So Kentucky will now have a 2-0 lead over Baylor in that second round match. The top right of the bracket, Wisconsin and Miami playing tonight. Penn State and Kansas, another 5-4 battle. They're at Kansas. Jayhawks and Nittany Lions tied the set apiece. Florida up two sets, trying to go up two sets, I should say, 
up two points in this second set. A big point here for Florida with Muff serving again. Kennedy Muff, Division II player last year after a stellar career at Flagler College over on the coast. Grew up in Wisconsin, going to Wisconsin Badger volleyball camps and playing volleyball now at a high level in the Division I tournament. She'll dig it there, Will Muff. Out to the outside, Fitzpatrick is stuffed. Liv Mogridge with the stuff. Florida's lead trimmed to one. She took away the angle, did the middle blocker, Mogridge. Big spot and serve received for Florida. Bertolino, the best server, serves it in the net. Her serving woes continue here in Gainesville. One of the best servers in the country. 61 aces coming in. And a good ace to error ratio. Now again, fasten your seat belt. Can Florida get to set point? With AC Fitzpatrick serving. Mendez on the right side. Pulls Georgia Tech back to within one. And here's Mogridge serving. Fitzpatrick was in back middle, but a well-placed shot by Mendez. And a change for Georgia Tech. Liz Patterson will check in and serve now. For Michelle Collier. We saw her serving in spot duty last night. Shank pass as Victoria can't handle it. Backing up, brushed up against Canaan. And Mary Wise wants and gets a Florida timeout as Patterson checks in and gets her second ace of the weekend after getting one last night against South Alabama in opening round action. This big spot now as both teams tied at 23. Who will get to set point? Florida's got to draw up something and serve, receive. But after seeing that last serve, the Gators have to get a good first contact so Muff can run the offense. That's the challenge for Florida against Liz Patterson, the substitution in with her serve that was the ace for Georgia Tech. Again, on the line for Georgia Tech, looking for his first true road win in an NCAA tournament and for a seventh win for head coach Michelle E. Collier. That would be the best in Georgia Tech history as the Yellow Jackets making their 13th appearance in the big dance after finishing fourth in the ACC behind Pitt and FSU on the top in Louisville to get an at-large berth and a number five seed. Florida in the tournament for the 33rd consecutive season under the guide, guidance of Mary Wise. And the Gators trying to get to another 20-win season. It would be the 33rd in a row for Florida. Gators, 33rd straight appearance in the tourney. Third longest street streak in the nation behind Penn State, 43, Nebraska, 42. Tied at 23, big point here. Fans trying to urge on Florida. Canan with the pass, right side Martin. It goes high off hands, Georgia Tech with a chance. Right side Mendez, Gator block touches. Martin just steers it across, a free ball opportunity. Where will Tech go? Mendez again, and she'll kill it. Larissa Mendez. Georgia Tech with a one point lead and Mary Wise will take another timeout. Even more critical now for Florida to get something in the side out offense. Take a look at this last rally as on the right side Mendez up from Muff and that forces a play on second contact by Victoria. So the free ball for Georgia Tech and they go back to right side to Mendez. This time she tools the block of Okamore and Victoria. And gets Georgia Tech to set point. They're trying to even up this match at one set apiece. In hostile territory with a good second round crowd on hand here in Exact Tech Arena. 
at the O'Connell Center. Georgia Tech beat South Alabama yesterday to get to this point. Florida beat Florida Gulf Coast University to get to this second round match. Both teams trying to get to the round of 16 and the second weekend of play. And a good contingent of Georgia Tech fans in the house making the drive down I-75 to Gainesville. Big spot if you're in serve receive for Florida. Got to give Muff a ball where she has three options to set. Can't make it one dimensional and have to just throw it to the outside where Mendez and middle Pierce can set up and try to block Victoria. I'm thinking Florida will probably look to Martin on the right side. Let's see. Set point, Yellow Jackets. Great pass. Victoria is played up by D'Amico. Gators block it. It goes up in the net and smacked down by Nady Okamore. We're tied at 24. Nady Okamore kept her head in the play. Gators touch the block. And the dig goes across the net off the block. And Okamore makes it a no doubter with two hands with the stuff. Tied at 24. Got to win by two as we go past 25 here. Tough play for Otene. Florida with a chance. Martin, tip shot. Pancake save for Mendez. A save from, no, it's not a save from Florida, it's down. Boy, was that pancake good or what? Let's take a look. Ooh, what a save by Mendez. She used all of her frame to get there. At six foot two to extend that arm. Set point again for Georgia Tech. Muff goes middle. Essex delivers the blast. We're tied at 25. Now Michelle Collier with instructions for her team. Where will Tech go? Maybe a quick middle set to Pierce? We'll see. Yes. Gators keep it alive. Victoria, roll shot. It's just long. Oh my goodness, it wasn't long by much. And another set point opportunity for Georgia Tech. How many lives do the Gators have here by giving the Yellow Jackets set points? Muff outside. Victoria high off hands. And we're tied at 26. This team has shown so much grit and determination throughout the second half of the season. Down three starters. Never say die attitude. Exhibit again here as we play past 25 in the second frame. Can Florida get to a set point of its own? Great serve by McKissick. Bertolino. It's dug up by Martin. Where will Muff go? To the outside. Tip shot, Fitzpatrick. Mignon gets it down for the kill. Georgia Tech gets again to set point as Mignon. Essex closed it with Fitzpatrick, but Mignon found an avenue to give another set point opportunity to Georgia Tech. Serving it is Pimentel, the libero for the Yellow Jackets. Adams makes the pass. And down for the kill is Kennedy Martin with number eight on the night. What a gutsy call to go to a back row attack. Only one blocker up and she went around Mogridge there. Again, you ask the question if you're here in orange and blue watching this team on your home court. Can the Gators get to a set point? It's been all Georgia Tech playing set points. Bertolini got it in. 10 on the night for Bertolini. Ooh. 
And D'Amico to serve. Back on the court, Mendez. Mignon goes to the bench along with Suarez. Georgia Tech 28, Florida 27. Martin with the tip. It's down for the kill. Florida living dangerously. Can they earn their own set point? They've been dodging bullets. And it's Kennedy Muff serving. One of the biggest stories in collegiate volleyball this year, D2 player. It's up, but it's down. Georgia Tech gets the 29. Our team in the graphics department probably getting tired of keep pressing that button for Georgia Tech set point. The Yellow Jackets fighting for every point here. Uh-oh, shank pass. Gators will get it across. No. A.C. Fitzpatrick pushes it into the net. And the Gators could not earn a set point of their own. And finally, Georgia Tech makes it 30 to 28. A second set win to even up this match at one set apiece. Georgia Tech pushes us beyond 25, multiple opportunities, and they finally get it done. We're all knotted up at one set apiece in Gainesville. Tied at a set apiece here in Gainesville after Georgia Tech. Multiple opportunities at set point. Finally close the deal and even up this second round NCAA Division I Women's Volleyball Tournament match at one apiece. Bertolino has found her groove after a tough outing last night. Leads the way with 11 kills and just two digs short of her 11th season double-double. Florida, tough offensive go in the second set, down to only 179 on the match. And Florida, after five blocks in the first, only one in the second set as Georgia Tech figuring out Florida defensively a little better. Let's take a look at the top left of the bracket. This is where Arkansas trying to move on at home, playing Stephen F. Austin. No scoring yet that I have, at least, as TCU upsets the sixth-seeded Florida State. ACC co-champion beat by TCU. Baylor and Kentucky. Kentucky with a two sets to none lead there in Lexington. Let's get back to play here as pivotal third set forthcoming. Florida on their home floor trying to win this second round match. Florida all time in NCAA second round matches are 27 and three, all during the tenure of Mary Wise. 25 and two at home. Both of those losses coming to Florida State in 2013 and 2016. Of course, that 2016 match was not here in the O'Connell Center, as the O-Dome, as it's called here, was under construction. That went over what they called the Lem Dome, the practice facility turned into a competition court. Tied at one, here we go. Best two out of three, basically, to move on. Overpass, Florida keeps it alive and then stumbles and pushes the ball out of bounds. Bertolino readies to serve. Shank pass, service ace. There's number 62. Two more, she ties the Georgia Tech single season mark. And on the evening, that is three service aces for the Yellow Jackets. The push for Okamore. Otene pushes it off of hands. Much to the delight of the staff on the Georgia Tech bench. 
Otene's had a tough night offensively. Her fourth kill only hitting 105. But you've got to have hitter's amnesia now. You're tied at one set apiece. Just move forward. Muff goes right side. Martin off hands. Right side, Mendez. She'll kill it. Four, nothing. Georgia Tech riding across the momentum and emotion. After finally closing the door on Florida in the second. Here's Bertolino. Right side attack. Martin off hands. Pimentel with the dig. Mendez with the kill. When is Mary Wise going to burn a timeout? Down 5 nothing. She gives instruction to Sophia Victoria on the Gator bench. Always coaching, always teaching. Even in the 33rd season. Uh-oh, overpass, look out below. Mogridge, 6-0 Florida. Mary Wise can't wait any longer. She'll take an early timeout here. As after taking a hard-fought second set, past 25 and 30 to 28, Georgia Tech riding Big Mo. A 6-0 start to the third set here in Gainesville on the Gators' home court. Georgia Tech roars out to a lead of a half dozen here in set number three, riding the crest of emotion and momentum. Whip around coverage of all first and second round action here at the 2023 NCAA Volleyball Tournament on ESPN+. Tom Collette with you from Gainesville, as after the timeout, the Gators get a kill from A.C. Fitzpatrick. This is where Florida will have to score points to make up ground, though. Florida, so many, if you will, deuce scores past 25, could not get to an advantage. And finally, Georgia Tech took it 30-28 in that second set. Can Florida score points while serving? Dig goes across the net, and a kill from Ogridge. Just a flick of the wrist, and then it comes back to her. Martin tried to make the play in Florida's front right, but to no avail. Bogridge serves it. Six kills and eight swings without an error. That's highly efficient. Oh, my goodness. Back row block called on Kennedy Muff as she went up to challenge Pierce, but she's in the back row. Well, actually, she just wanted to try to go up and make the set and Smartly, Pierce hit it off of her. She can't contact that ball in the plane of the net, above the net, in the back row. Right side, Mendez. Outside, Otene. It's in. All Georgia Tech as they are on fire. 7 0 9. Seven kills and nine swings here to open up the third. That's 7 78. That's a torrid pace as Mogridge serves it again. They are in a groove now offensively. There's one way to knock yourself out of a groove with a service error. Tenth of the night for Georgia Tech. Adams in for Florida along with Essex. Short ball. Somehow Tech played it across. Gabby Essex gets the kill. So that's a start. Florida's got to score points while serving to catch up. Can't just afford to trade side outs. She was facing, going towards that right sideline, came across her body and flicked the wrist back to the left. Get a good look at Trinity Adams, the junior. Radford, Virginia, her home. Out to the outside, Otene for Georgia Tech. And the angle shot is down. 
McKissick farther off to the left and where that shot went, defending the angle shot. See how Florida blockers set it up to try to funnel it to McKissick. She cut that very close to the Florida block. McKissick was in the right spot. Checking and serving Suarez for Georgia Tech. Quick middle set. That was Essex's bread and butter early in her career. Now she's been effective on the slide as well as her career has progressed. For Essex, her eighth kill tying the season high. She said last night, Florida's going to need offense from the middle. Oh, today is stuff blocked as Essex shakes the right hand at her teammates to celebrate it. Boom. Muff said it, Essex closed it, Essex got it. Mignon answers back for Georgia Tech at the right pin. Otene serves and serves it long. 11 service errors on the evening. As Georgia Tech has been more efficient offensively as the night has progressed. Side outing at 62%. Florida just said 57.8. The points off serve, they're 42. Florida 38% roughly, 37.9 to be exact. Whoa. Vicious attack swing there as Pierce. A big smile from her teammates on the bench as she is out of the match. And serving, here is Pimentel. Martin with a tip, pushing it across. Mignon is blocked by Essex at Fitzpatrick. This is where Florida has to improve to catch up here in this set. Serve and score while serving. It's Canaan who's checked back in and serves here. Already with an ace on the night. Mogridge, great block cover from Bertolino. Up from Kennedy Martin. Fitzpatrick delivers from the left antenna. Give her nine on the night. Tying Martin for team high. Florida within four and a big smile bursts out of the face, face of Florida head coach Mary Wise as the Gators head for the bench. Interesting to see the dynamic on the Florida bench. You see in the foreground the coaches huddle before addressing the players. Oftentimes, you'll see Ellie McKissick dominate the conversation from a player perspective before the coaches rejoin. If we can maybe pan to the right a little bit and see if it's Ellie McKissick. Nope, she's not being vocal this time out at least. But you get a good look at the players as they await the coaches to join them. And now after huddling, Mary Wise will address the team first. It's a formula that's worked very well for Mary Wise in her 33 years here in Gainesville. Regroup, let the players talk some things out and then make their points to finish out the timeout. It's resulted in 964 wins for Wise in Gainesville. Georgia Tech tonight getting kills from pin to pin. A balanced attack from the left, Otene and Bertolini. From the right, Mignon. Also kills from the middle, Bogridge gets in the act. Again, from the right, Larissa Mendez. Otene from the left. Bertolino with 11 to lead the hit parade for the Yellow Jackets. Otene, seven. Mendez, seven. Bogridge, six. And hitting 667. Mignon with six. So a very balanced attack as the two setters 
Suarez and D'Amico have distributed the ball well, keeping the Florida defense guessing. This is Bertolino, the up from Canaan. Pushed across by Fitzpatrick. Mignon, that one's well long. And I saw Otene look over here at the up official, Mark Prather. And what do we have? Looks like a yellow card. I think it was issued to Otene. She was looking and saying, hey, there's a double there. I think referring to Fitzpatrick pushing it across with two hands. Let's see who that's charged to. Michelle Collier. Now I think making that point with Tony Cothran, the down official. The two-handed push, a big part of the men's game, especially on the international level. I st still think they're shaking their heads at when Fitzpatrick pushed it across with two, wanting a double call. Florida with a three. Tip shot, Bertolino, and Muff tries to play it across the net on the way down. Probably not the play there. Keep it in play and let McKissick make a second contact to one of your hitters. As I know the message from the Florida bench. A four point lead for Tech and serve, where it's D'Amico in to set and serve here, Suarez out. Mendez back on the court. And what do we have? A replay. The up official. Stopping play, Mark Prather. Pounding the ball, preparing is D'Amico. Senior out of Westerville, Ohio. Muff goes right side. Okamore played up. Fitzpatrick takes the ball on the plane of the net and puts it right in D'Amico's lap. Great up, but in the right spot at the right time is A.C. Fitzpatrick. Played her first two years at Penn State. Came back home to Florida. Her hometown only 45 minutes down the interstate in Ocala. Mendez winds up, goes down the line and rips it in. Georgia Tech trying to maintain a multiple point lead, now back out to four. As Bertolino, first ace of the weekend earlier. The push for Okamore. Florida to within three. Mary Wise had to burn an early timeout for Florida. As now checking your charts in this rotation, we'll have A.C. Fitzpatrick serving. Florida choosing to use as Fitzpatrick readies her in this serving situation. Well, that one was a bad toss, too high. Georgia Tech again stretches the lead to four with the service error for Florida. Just the fourth of the night. As you see behind AC Fitzpatrick, the true freshman, very physical player who played early on for Florida, not much, in Kira Hudson. As one of the stars of that second set, a late sub, Liz Patterson checks in. Critical ace down the stretch. Kennedy Martin delivers the shot. Tenth kill of the night for Kennedy Martin. Off the sideline, she goes around the blockers. They didn't go all the way to the antenna anticipating the set inside, but a little further inside than they thought. Short serve. Right side, Mendez. Out to Victoria. What an up from McKissick from the blast from Otene. McKissick will have to steer it across the free ball. Right side, Mendez. Misses one wide, trying to go around the floor to block. Essex and Victoria were there. 
And we have a wet spot down at the end line of the Georgia Tech side of the court being intended to. Side attack kill for Larissa Mendez. She continues being a terminator on the weekend here in Gainesville for Georgia Tech. Give her nine after 12 last night. And a little playful activity on the bench as checking in as Suarez to serve and set. Push shot, Martin, played up by Pimentel. Off the forearms of McKissick, out to Victoria. A diving up from Adams. Victoria, roll shot blocked. Sent across by Victoria with the left. Neither team wants to have this rally end. Otene with a blast from the left pin. Down the line with authority. Wow, that was something worth another look. The long rally. Martin can't get the roll shot down. And watch this. Hello. Four point lead and serve for Georgia Tech. Victoria has to play the second ball. So a free ball opportunity here for the Yellow Jackets. Mignon. She'll kill it. It's up to a five-point lead. And our down official, Tony Cothran, asking the Georgia Tech players to back up. For years, I've always said in calling matches, why even set up a bench? None of the players sit down. Gators will take their second time out here in this third set, the last that Mary Wise has in her back pocket. Let's take a look at what's going on elsewhere in the bracket. This is the top right. Wisconsin in the second round with a 1-0 lead over Miami. Penn State and Kansas in a barn burner going to five at Kansas. Kentucky sweeps Baylor. The Wildcats, probably the hottest team in the NCAA. Beat LSU in league play, then lost to Tennessee, hasn't lost since. And they are in to region play the round of 16, where they host in Lexington. Here, Florida trying to find answers after a back and forth second set, which was tightly contested, although Florida never could get to set point, avoiding dodging, getting around. However you want to call it, set point opportunities for Georgia Tech. They fall and then spot Georgia Tech six points to open up this set and now trail by five late. Got it to within three. But Georgia Tech has maintained a cushion ever since this set began. Simple task for Florida here. You've got to do something and serve receive. with Suarez, the true freshman from Brazil, serving. Essex delivers. And that's a mismatch, I think, Florida, when you have Essex against Deandra Pierce, the more physical of the attackers for Florida. You take her on. And Essex goes around Pierce for the kill there. Kennedy Martin. Out to Otene. Off the Gator block, off of Muffin Essex. And Georgia Tech is at 20. I beg your pardon, 19. 
Five point lead after the kill for Tamara Otene, where she serves now. Victoria, the dig goes back across the net on Pimentel. Mignon. It goes out of bounds, the kill for Mignon. Now Georgia Tech is at 20. Gators trying to crank up the offense, but it's been a tough go. Trying to match Georgia Tech. In the set, Georgia Tech at 419. Florida, no slouch at 348. Just not as many looks. Kennedy Martin gets number 11. Caroline Canope, now an assistant coach for Florida, up off the Gator bench, trying to fire up this team. Part of that great run in 2017 when the Gators made it all the way to the championship match. Overpass. Georgia Tech keeps it alive. And Essex hits it in the net. The set was a little bit too low. That's got to be deflating. You think you've got it down in Georgia Tech. Hustle play. Gets a free ball back across the net. Forcing an Florida attack error. Down a half dozen. One point at a time. Florida's got to get something out of the side out offense. Well, they don't have to. A dozen service errors on the night for Georgia Tech. Cracking open the door for Florida. Have to score some points as Mary Wise up off the bench with hands on knees. And Canaan checks in along with Okamore. Right side, Mignon. Mignon buries it. Georgia Tech with a lead of again of a half dozen. And their changes in their 6-2 offense as Mendez checks back in, along with senior setter Bella D'Amico. D'Amico serves. Florida will run it to the slide. Up from Otene. Mendez. Stuff blocked by Okamore. Okamore's fourth block of the match. Kennedy Muff again. Last year playing in D2 at Flagler College here in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Setting the Florida Gators off hands. It's played up by Pimentel. Bertolino, the up from Canaan. D'Amico gets to it. Florida goes middle. The block slows it down. That was Mogridge who got a touch. Back set right side. And on the right side, Bertolino. 13 on the night. And this is a point where if you're Florida, You're kind of looking towards the next set. It's got to be a run here and now. Right side kill for Kennedy Martin. This is where Florida's got to make some damage. Only 35% scoring on serve. As you see the tool of the hands by Kennedy Martin. Off of the left arm of Otene, blocking for Georgia Tech. Fitzpatrick, can she get a series of serves together? Otene. Where will Georgia Tech go? Right side, Mendez. The attack at the antenna, that's out of bounds. One point at a time, the message to the Florida players on the court. Within four. 
Michelle Collier has one, line, one more timeout at her disposal. Bullet serve, overpass, kill Kennedy Martin. And I thought it might come here if Florida got to 20. AC Fitzpatrick with some magic in that right arm, creates the overpass from Otene, and Kennedy Martin extends the six foot six freshman frame to deliver her 13th kill on the night. And signature move there for Emily Kanan, jumping up into the arms of the freshman Kennedy Martin. So both teams now out of timeouts here in this set as Florida trying to claw its way back in. It's been Georgia Tech leading the entire set. As again, Florida must score two or three more points to have a chance here. What a season it's been for this Florida team looking for its 20th win on the year tonight. Every year during Mary Wise's tenure, the Gators have won at least 20 matches. That in jeopardy tonight as the Gators really gritting it out, suffering the loss of three starters and piecing it all together to get to this point in the second round match. You see Anna Dixon to the left and Alexis Stuckey to the right. Stuckey, the All-American setter. Dixon, the transfer from Missouri, who began her career at Kansas State one year and then went to Mizzou. Came here as a graduate transfer and had been a pin hitter her career and played middle for Florida. And the Gators really had it figured out until the rash of injuries. Leading Wisconsin number one in the country on the court here when Stuckey went down. Gators with a chance and transition to the right side. Kennedy Martin gets the Gators one point closer. Momentum definitely back on Florida's side as another look. Martin against one. The middle not getting there in time to close the block. Another bullet serve. Back rope, Bertolino. And a diving effort made by Muff, but not quite in time. Set point, Georgia Tech. As where Muff went sliding to try to get that ball, being attended to with the perspiration. Bertolino now with 14 kills, matching Martin for match high. And the serving star late in the second set is Liz Patterson. She's back in for Georgia Tech. Look out, oh, she got a play on it. Free ball opportunity for Yellow Jackets and put away by Otene. Georgia Tech takes a two set to one lead here in hostile territory in the swamp. Exact Tech Arena at the Stephen C. O'Connell Center as Otene delivers the kill to end the third set. A great five seed, four seed battle underway in Gainesville, Florida. As the fifth seed now with the upper hand, Georgia Tech with a two sets to one lead. Shot out to a big lead in the third set of six nothing. And Bianca Bertolino has been the offensive story for Georgia Tech tonight. After an off night last night against South Alabama, she's got 14 kills and has done it in a variety of ways as we see the tip. And down the line from the right side. As the two Yellow Jackets outside hitters have made their mark tonight, both in double digit kills led by Bertolino. Florida looking for offense. You see the disparity, 12 more kills for Georgia Tech. Florida's done yeoman's work at the net, but not enough. Florida's got to generate more offense, and Georgia Tech's back row has picked it up as this match has worn on, out digging Florida to this point. 
Bertolino off last night, only hitting 115, as I alluded to moments ago. But staying in the match, look at that 13 digs in the win last night. Keep playing defense, keep hustling, keep giving it your all. The offense will come, and it's turning up for her tonight, hitting almost 400. Came into action tonight on the squad. She and outside hitter Otene, the two major factors. And the Gators get on the scoreboard first here in the fourth. A must win situation for Florida. Down 1 2. And Kennedy Muff will serve it. For two grad students and four seniors, they want to play the last match on their home court with a win and move on. There, Tolino, the Gators block, touches it. Martin with the tip shot and well disguised. 15 kills for Martin now on the evening. And if you're Mary Wise and the Florida coaching staff, this is a start you wanted to see. Gators pick, get back up off the deck and take an early quick lead. Otene, though, from the back row displays that she's still got some left in that tank. Otene with 11 kills. She and Bertolino both in double figures. Mendez and Manyang, Manyang, excuse me, next at nine. Well distributed offense for Georgia Tech tonight. AC Fitzpatrick reminds everyone she's still in the match with her 11th kill. 16 double-digit kill matches on the season for the senior from Ocala. Now it's time to unleash the jump top spin serve of AC Fitzpatrick, who tried to serve the Gators back in it last set. Great save by Pimentel. Otene misses on the outside. Michelle Collier, I think, is going to challenge. Well, maybe not. She was calling for a touch, asking her players, and I guess she won't. Such a weapon when AC Fitzpatrick can get that big, heavy top spin jump serve in. Anticipation is. Here's the Fitzpatrick serve. Mendez blocked! So, Fia Victoria and Nady Okamore. And Florida returning the favor. They were down 6 0. Last set. Gators now up 5 1 to start the fourth set. Fitzpatrick continued this hot streak of serving. Otene blocked by Okamore. Martin was up on her long side on her right shoulder. Georgia Tech wants an early timeout. Florida had to take one last set. Turnabout fair play as Florida races out to a lead of 6-1 here in a must-win situation in the fourth trailing 1-2 on their home floor. We're back in Gainesville, Florida with a 6-1 lead. And A.C. Fitzpatrick preparing to serve as we return to action. Gators in a must-win situation on their home court. Do not want their season to end here. Georgia Tech up two sets to one. As Fitzpatrick hits that one in the net. One other thing that a timeout can do is break the rhythm of a jump server who's really on a roll. Coming out of the timeout.
6-2 Florida. Shank pass, ace from Ogridge. Florida has seven comeback wins on the season. Last time they were down 1-2 was against Georgia on September 24th. As Nady Okamore delivers the quick middle attack. The last comeback win for Florida back on October 20th. Trinity Adams will serve it here for Florida. Back on the floor for Florida is Gabby Essex in the ace. Trinity Adams. It's ace number 31. I think she's happy about it, don't you? With that ace, she ties Kennedy Martin for team high. The dig went across the net, and there to bring it back for the kill was Mendez. Mignon out on the court along with Suarez. Out are D'Amico and Mendez for Georgia Tech. The setters for Georgia Tech have really distributed the ball well, each with 21 assists on the night. This is the freshman Suarez, a member of the ACC All-Freshman team with a bright future at Georgia Tech. She'll set it here to the outside, Otene. Georgia Tech's in the net. Wouldn't have mattered though, because wind up and kill it, Sophia Victoria. Victoria's the pin hitter the Gators need to get going tonight. Martin and Fitzpatrick are on. Ooh, that was a low toss and a serve in the net. Just the sixth service error on the night for Florida. Double that for Georgia Tech. Oh, that caught net. Essex with the kill. Continues to add to her season high total. Now 10 for the junior from Hoover, Alabama. Down the line and Pimentel could not play that one. Serve McKissick. Mignon off the net. Fitzpatrick is blocked. The roof on the right side for Mignon. And Pierce. Great net penetration. Pimentel serves here now for Georgia Tech to Libero. Again, a must win situation for the home team here, Florida, hosting the second round match. And another service error for Georgia Tech, give 13 now in the evening. Florida upping its scoring on serve now to 40%. It was in the mid-30s through the third set. It's a good sign if you're cheering for the orange and blue. And a service ace for Emily Canan, second of the night. She likes to celebrate as well. She's had some big aces in big situations. In a fifth set that the Gators eventually dropped, though, had four in a row against Stanford last year here in the pre-conference schedule. Follows that with an attempt at a short serve, and then it's too short. Georgia Tech with its customary changes as 
the setter D'Amico checks back in along with right side attacker Mendez. Out go Mignon and Suarez. The D'Amico serve. Net violation on Florida. I believe it was called. I don't know who it was called on. Let's see if I can get it from the. Kennedy Muff. Katie Okamore makes her presence known again. Fifth kill and 14 swings without an error. The heavy load has been lifted, though, by the Florida pins as usual, which is the case most often. Martin, Fitzpatrick, and Victoria. Mogridge with the left hand had to adjust. AC Fitzpatrick finds one down the line. Crafty play. Buff serves for the Gators. Mendez, touch called at the net. She found the hands of the Florida blockers. Florida maintains, though, a five-point lead in this must-win situation, trying to force a fifth. Right side attack, Martin. Played up by Mendez. Fitzpatrick loads up and tools the block. Gets it off of Mogridge. Almost knocked McKissick over, did that attack. And then Fitzpatrick, the crafty play by the senior. She was the Florida Gatorade Volleyball Player of the Year in 2020 after her senior season at Trinity Catholic High School. She serves here now. Wow! Oh, and she kicks it up into the stands. Pimentel tries her best, but it's another service ace for the Gators. And for A.C. Fitzpatrick, her second on the night. This really had a lot of rotation and velocity. And you can read her lips. Come on! Here comes another one. The bullet. That one handled. The up from AC. Right side Mendez, and she'll kill it. No! I think Georgia Tech will challenge for a touch. Might have been Fitzpatrick on the way down as Bertolini will have a conversation with the up official Mark Prather. The challenge has been made. It is that there was a touch. The signal of one coming from the up official Mark Prather directed back towards us to let us know that's what the challenge is for. Quite a Friday night here in Gainesville as Florida trying to come back from trailing 1-2. Florida took the opening set. Georgia Tech took the second, 30-28, as we take another look. Looks like a touch to me. It's Victoria. Well, let's see. Mendez, Victoria, is that left index finger bow back after being hit? Potentially. Yeah, might be that left, the uh, right, the right index finger, the index finger on the right hand. If that's where the contact was, I think that's what it'll be called.
current ruling is a no touch. Challenged by Shelly Collier. If it stands, don't blink, but Florida on a 3 0 scoring run to take an eight point lead. Hard to see the right hand with the left hand blocking it of Victoria. If the contact is made, I believe, as I said, it would be that right hand of the hitter closest to us or blocker closest to us in Sophia Victoria. As the fans now trying to get up in this lull in the action, which is this replay is taking quite a bit of time. As Tony Cothran, our R2, doubling as the replay official, continues to look at this from every angle. Georgia Tech has already used one timeout. They used that back at 6-1. Florida burst into the lead to open up this frame. Collier loses this challenge. She'll be out of challenges unless we go to a fifth and you get one more back. And it looks like the decision has been made. Let's see what the signal is. So no touch. Call is confirmed, no touch. Bertolini again with a conversation with Tony, excuse me, with Mark Prather, the up official here. Fans uh, displeased with the continued delay and res the resumption of, resumption of action here. Here's AC Fitzpatrick. Mogridge with the kill. 7 0 13. That's quite the stat line for the middle blocker. She will check out and give way to Liz Patterson. Patterson, her ace was one of the catalysts in that second set for Georgia Tech. Right side, Mark. Kennedy Mark. Trinity Adams surveys and serves. Tough play for the setter, D'Amico. Free ball opportunity for Florida. Big block for Georgia Tech. Still a big mountain to climb for the Yellow Jackets. We want to try to climb that mountain, but maybe with a, a little vision on a fifth set. Potentially ahead of you. Here's Suarez serving. A free ball chance for Georgia Tech. Otene from the left pin gets killed 12. Each team with three players with double digit kills. Bertolino, Otene, and Mendez for Georgia Tech. Another look at Otene with the double block there. Martin and Essex were there for Florida, but Otene up to the task. For Florida, three and doubles. Martin Fitzpatrick, Essex. Right side, Martin. What an up from Bertolino. Otene blocked. Essex takes a swing and kills it for number 11. One off her career high. She's had 12 twice. The last time last season in the month of November, 
as Essex finds another play in the net and lets it go. Last November 26th, 12 kills again at Old Miss. Otene with the smash. Florida has kept a lead, a cushion here in this set. Raced out to a 6-1 lead. Trying to force a fifth. Trying to get another 20-win season for the program for 33 years in a row. Bertolino was there that time to stuff. The slide play to Essex, denying her a 12th kill. The lead is five. Otene serves. Victoria off the block, it's the kill. Florida to 20. Ellie McKissick, one of four seniors and two grad students playing their last match here on the court at home. Hopeful to move on. What an up from Martin. Fitzpatrick buries another one. 14 for AC. And a timeout called for by Michelle Collier, head coach of Georgia Tech. AC Fitzpatrick, the senior, not wanting this to be her last match, has been on fire, hitting over 300 in this match to this point. And she's done it in so many different ways, the master of so many different shots. Just a rip. High off hands. Through the block. The top spin ball. Again, finding high hands. Cleaning up on a ball that came back across to the Gators. AC Fitzpatrick in the middle of her 16th double digit kill match here in this, her final collegiate season. Again, after spending two years at Penn State, the Florida native, the 2020 Gatorade Player of the Year in high school at Trinity Catholic comes home for her junior and senior years. Not a lot of court time last year, but this year has excelled in her senior campaign. She and Kennedy Martin and Sophia Victoria, the three pin hitters, critical for Florida to make a deep run into this NCAA tournament. And Fitzpatrick doesn't want to let it go. To the timeout. Georgia Tech now out of timeouts. Florida has two still in play as Ellie McKissick serves. The Florida Libero. Mignon. Angle shot from the right side for Mignon. Give her 10 kills. Four in double digits for Georgia Tech. 24th assist for Eloise Suarez. Who sets for Mignon is on the court. Pimentel serves for Georgia Tech. Fitzpatrick, another kill for AC. 15. Earlier this season, she set her career high with 22 in a five set barn burner in the small gym in Tallahassee called Tully. Here's the serve for Kanan now, and a shank. Minyang saved it. 
Otene with the up. Bertolini off the net. Again. Wow. Look out, the Gator players scatter, but AC can't get there. Martin running that way as well. So they have a group huddle. Why not? Gator lead is six. Georgia Tech sends in Anna Bosi. She'll serve here a different look. Also on the court. Excuse me, that's not Bosi serving, that is Sandin. Bosi's on the court, though. And that's in. Andy Okamore, 6 0 15. That's quite the stat line. And to please the coaching staff, seven blocks on the evening to lead everyone. Kennedy Muff, can she get the Gators to set point? Here, Tolini. Coaching staff wants a double on Muff there. Bertolini gets the kill. A stern look at the officials from Michelle Collier. And a yellow card issued as the complaint lodged in a manner not becoming, I guess. Bertolini upset with that non call, maybe a double contact on Muff. Here's Bertolini, jump serve on the way. Set point, Florida. Florida on the season, in case you were wondering, five and four in five set matches, including a stretch of Get to that point in a minute as Georgia Tech avoids one set point. Fans trying to urge Florida on here. Serve for Liz Patterson. She missed it long. There is a touch called at the net. Sophia Victoria. Bertolini uh, saying, I see that. There was no touch. Trying to plead her case with the up official, Mark Prather. We're going to five. Florida, five and four in five set matches on the season. Florida extends it to the race to 15. Don't go anywhere. We're back for the fifth set after this. Florida with the response after Georgia Tech took a two sets to one lead. The Gators roar back and take the fourth 25-18. Gabrielle Essex, Gabby Essex has been money in the bank for Florida out of the middle blocker position offensively tonight. She has 11 kills on the evening for the Gators and has also been a defensive presence there, touching the block and getting the ball back and killing it. Essex, you see the numbers at the bottom of the graphic, has been a big factor for the Gators, one off her career high. Gators now out hitting Georgia Tech after their performance there in that third set when the Gators, fourth set, excuse me, hit 478 with the match on the line. And we go to the race to 15. Every point hyphen. The importance of every rally increased. Florida on the season, five and four in five set matches. Georgia Tech, four and one in five setters. The Gators, last five set match was on the 19th earlier in November, November 19th at Arkansas. 
And they were up 11-10 in the fifth with upset on their mind before Arkansas's Jill Gillen took over. Determined look on the face of these Florida Gators wanting this season to continue and wrapping up their home slate in the tournament here with a win on their home court. Georgia Tech trying to earn their first road win in NCAA tournament play. In the NCAA tournament, Georgia Tech has played once before, and that was a loss to Louisville in 2001. Their only five-set match in the tournament. This being their 13th NCAA appearance, and a good start for Florida. Let's see if there's more magic in this right arm of A.C. Fitzpatrick. It was heated up as the night has gone on. Overpass. And an over the net violation called. Oh boy, no, I don't know about that. I'd like to see a replay on that if we have it. Discussion with the up official Mark Prather. Tied at one. Mary Wise doesn't like to call. It'll stand, of course. Not challengeable. Tied at one. She just shakes her head. Bertolino with the serve. Right side Martin. Down for the kill. Kennedy Martin with 18. Trinity Adams checks in. Adams with the service ace on the night. Canan with two. Fitzpatrick with two. Otene had to push it across with the left. Sophia Victoria blasts away. Off the forearms of McKissick, no problems. Off the net for Sophia Victoria. Otene answers. And Georgia Tech back to within one. First team to eight, the teams will switch sides. A little ways to go before that, but that was good for Otene. Only one blocker you saw that for Florida. And Kennedy Martin. Set to the right side. Florida goes right side to Martin. Tip shot. Otene dug up by McKissick. Give her 15 on the match now. Free ball opportunity for Florida. Essex has it, tying her career high with her 12th kill. One on one, she goes around Pierce. Florida with a two point lead and serve. I don't think and so. it's freshman Kennedy Martin. Tied for the Gator service ace lead as Adams tied her tonight. All the way out to Otene, off hands to kill. Georgia Tech within one. Florida clinging to a one point lead on its home court, not wanting its season to end. Georgia Tech trying to get its first true NCAA tournament road win and not wanting its season to end. Out to Victoria, off hands, played up by Bertolini. Mendez. Back row attack, kill Kennedy Martin. 5-3 Florida. Perfect delivery from Muff.
Kennedy Martin so level-headed, so business-like, ready for whatever is thrown at her. Can Florida add to a lead here? Off the net, Otene. Back to Otene. Off hands, dug up by Martin. Otene again, got it in. Didn't want to run an offense, just take a swing at that ball when it was in the plane of the net. Ball brought back up. Let me just do matters, take matters into my own hands. Florida's lead trimmed to one. Otene serves. Muff with the dump! Kennedy Muff on second contact! Her first kill of the night, fifth attempt. Disguised it well, and Pierce was standing there on the floor. Two point Florida lead, can Canaan add to it? Out to Fitzpatrick, tip shot. Bertolini, off hands. Gator blockers slow it down. Martin with the tip. Otene is blocked. Tried that back row attack from the right side, but Florida blockers were in position. Fitzpatrick and Okamore were there. Florida with a three-point lead, forcing a Georgia Tech timeout here in this fifth set. So much at stake, a trip to the round of 16, most likely to Nebraska, the number one seed in this region. And the Gators with a three-point lead on their home court, trying to come back from being down 1-2. Florida trying to get this second round win as Bertolini sails one long and the Gators are the first team to eight after the timeout and attack air for Georgia Tech. Gators get to go back to their bench where they start matches. And uh, now we will exchange benches formally. Florida during the Mary Wise tenure here in Gainesville in NCAA second round matches here at home, 25 and two. And I'm wondering what we have here as now the players are directed to their benches. Gators eager to be back on the court to keep riding this wave of emotion. Martin back out of the floor with, and now they're changing benches back. What do we have here? A challenge for Georgia Tech of a touch. Georgia Tech is challenging the ingredients. Well, that's something I've not seen before. Teams exchange benches. Georgia Tech then issues a challenge. And they're ordered to go back to their other benches where they started the, the uh, fifth set. If the call stands, it's 8-4 Florida. If we have a replay overturn, that's Muff on the left of your screen defensively for Florida. Bertolini as Okamore trying to close the block, but she goes in between the two Florida blockers. Did it go off the left hand? From that angle. A 
another look from our crew. Again, the R2, the down official, Tony Cothran. Doubles as the replay official on the far side, taking a look. The ruling on the court, the initial ruling is no touch. An attack error on Bertolini. If it stands, Florida four-point lead, and we exchange benches finally. If it's overturned, it would be 7-5. Quite a different look, if you will, here in the fifth set. The decision is in. Stays with Florida. Now the teams will exchange benches. And Florida with the upper hand with a four-point lead and serve. Georgia Tech trying to fight back. It'll be Canaan serving for Florida after both teams are ready to resume. Again, Florida, nine five-set matches on the year, a record of five and four. Georgia Tech, four and one in five-set matches. Their last five-set marathon was a win at Boston College back on the 27th of October as they made their way through the ACC. And that's out. Tough spot for a service there. Florida's lead trimmed to three. Florida 25 and two here in Exact Tech Arena, or the one match at the Lemerand under Mary Wise in Gainesville during her tenure with the Gators. Fitzpatrick, tip shot, tip back. Back row attack Martin with the tip. Suarez sets the pipe. And it's in for the kill. That is Otene. Georgia Tech within two. Gators two blockers there. She went up and over Fitzpatrick. Okamore played up by Otene. Oh, and a misplay, unfortunately, for Ellie McKissick. Not a lot on that one, but the kill for Bertolino. And Georgia Tech has pulled to within one at 8-7. A 3-0 scoring run. Cuts the Gator lead to one and forces the Florida timeout. And a big factor late here in the match has been Tamara Otene. The senior from Auckland, New Zealand. First team. All ACC selection with the angle shot there. Down the line there. Angle shot again in front of McKissick. Tooling the block. Another angle shot as McKissick tried to make a play for Florida, but Otene now up to 17 kills. Matching Bertolino for team high. Kennedy Martin with 19 to lead all. What a match we've witnessed tonight. Just a second round match in this tournament for two teams trying to get to the next level. The round of 16. As Nebraska has moved in to the round of 16, will face Missouri. Can Florida make the next step? Can Georgia Tech make the next step?
Florida fans trying to urge on the Gators. Slide play, Okamore. Fitzpatrick off the net. And there's a touch. Kill for AC Fitzpatrick. Ending the three nothing scoring run. And uh, another challenge. Challenging the touch. Georgia Tech is challenging the touch of the net. Each team has one timeout left. Georgia Tech with a challenge here. Florida has a challenge as well. Let's take a look from what we have. Here's Okamore. So they're challenging that there was no touch, that it's a, an attack error against Okamore, that it wasn't a block ball. What a great angle we have. Is it hitting a hand? Kennedy Muff asking for clarification of the challenge from Yep official Mark Prather, the referee on the stand, the R1 who runs the match. Tony Cothran rules that there was a touch. So the point stays with Florida and a 9-7 two-point Florida lead. Fans trying to urge the Gators on on their home court. A definite home court advantage for Florida, who had 10,000 here when number one Wisconsin came to town back in September. Bertolini, Gators block it, the up. Otene pops the ball on the net. 10-7 Florida. Gators looking to earn a 20th win on the season and move into the round of 16. Tip shot down for the kill for Otene. 18th kill. Two point set. Suarez checks in. Mignon checks in. On the right side for Tech. Florida just with two in serve receive here. And the service error from the freshman, Suarez. Gets the Gators a point closer. Toss maybe a little low. And again, fasten your seatbelt. 15th service error of the night for Georgia Tech. Here comes AC Fitzpatrick. Bertolini was blocked. That one's out. The block went out. Gators were there but couldn't turn the ball in. Big spot here for Bertolini. Has an ace on the night. 17, make it 18. Kill 17 digs. Kennedy Martin missed it. Gators looking for a touch. I think we'll have a challenge from Mary Wise. We will. You can cut the tension with a knife. Challenging a touch. Let's see what our crew has for us with another look. And too hard to make out from that back row. Looks like she's trying to get the left hand out of the way, did she? With the zoom in. It looks like the left hand lowers. Was it because the ball hit it? That 
That left hand definitely comes down. Was it because of the ball, or is she reacting to getting her hand out of the way? Boy, from that angle, looks like it's not a touch from behind. Looks like the ball is past her. But the only opinion that matters is Tony Cothra in the R2 on the other side. As he continues to take a look at this. Working that jog wheel, slowing it down, rocking it back and forth, looking at what is in front of him. Huge call here. Jared Green, thanks you, thank you for getting us these wonderful angles to take a look at this. It doesn't look like the rotation of the ball changes when it passes her. That's also another thing you'll look for. Again, taking a lot of time here. Want to get it right. A reversal would make it 12-9 Florida and a three-point lead. As it stands now, it's a one-point lead for the Gators. Is there enough to overturn? Collier making the same point I did. Did the ball rotation change as it passed Bertolini? As the Florida Gator fans trying to make some A lifting of spirits, if you will, a lifting of the energy during this long extended review. It appears that our decision is in. As he lets the public address announcer, Jeff Cardozo, know, and now we'll go to the scorekeeper, Elise Wern. Cothran's decision is in. And it stays with Georgia Tech. Mary Wise loses that challenge. That's a big call. If it's overturned, it's 12-9 and a three-point Florida lead. It's a one-point Florida lead at 11-10. Bertolini serves. Right side, Mark. No doubt about that. No challenge there. Wow. 19th kill. Make it 20 for Kennedy Martin. Unbelievable. Florida 12, Georgia Tech 10. Adam serves the error. Oh, a tough spot for the error for Florida. You get a big momentum swing. And then the service error short. Florida's lead trimmed to one. Surfer Liz Patterson. Right side, Martin. 21. As she adds to her sixth. 20 plus kill match on the year. Head on, two blockers, bury it. Florida back up by two. Not a great pass from Bertolini. Otene got it in. Florida's lead trimmed to one. What a super NCAA second round match we're witnessing tonight. Neither team wants to give an inch. Serving as Lawrence Sandin. Back row Martin misses. We're tied at 13. Mary Wise wants a timeout as she pumps the fist as the players go to the bench 
And on the Georgia Tech side, Michelle Collier. A little more subdued reaction as her team returns. We've come down to this. Five sets almost done. Tied at two. Tied at 13. Florida fans trying to urge this team on. The team that has been through so much this year, losing three starters to injury. Georgia Tech makes their way through a tough, hard-fought ACC schedule to finish fourth and get an at-large bid to come to Gainesville as a number five seed to try to earn their first true road match win in an NCAA tournament here in their 13th NCAA tournament appearance. A great fan turnout for this NCAA match. And we're glad you're along for the ride. As A.C. Fitzpatrick, cool, calm, and collected. One of four seniors on this Gator squad. As they intently listen to instruction from Mary Wise and Dave Booz on the other bench for Georgia Tech. Michelle Collier and all smiles, all smiles all around. As the Gators return, Ellie McKissick, one of the emotional leaders along with A.C. Fitzpatrick on this team, trying to get this team up. Shina Joseph in attendance. Watching and waiting as after the timeout, Lauren Sandin serves. Big point here, who will get to match point? Go to Essex, and she's blocked! They went to Essex to try to get her her 13th kill. And Georgia Tech has a chance. One on one, it's Otene. Bear Tolini gives her a bear hug. Fans trying to make some noise to rattle the Georgia Tech server, Sandin. Victoria, the stick save is going to go out of bounds. We're tied at 14. Fourteen, fourteen. Got to win by two. We're going to go past 15 here. Ellie McKissick. Ellie McKissick with the serve. Tough ball to play. Ouch. Otene. Another match point opportunity for Georgia Tech. Tough play for Suarez. Her back to the net. Had to maintain body control not to go into the net. And Otene. After getting her 20th kill, will serve for the match. Caught some net. Essex is on the ground. Fitzpatrick, they keep it alive. Georgia Tech with a chance here. And Bertolino. Bianca Bertolino gets the kill to end it. Number 19 on the evening for Bertolino. And moving on in the tournament are the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. A hard fought five set victory over the Florida Gators on the Gators home court. And the Gators season comes to an end. Let's take a look at the bracket now with the result in as Georgia Tech wins in five and moves on, earning the first road win in their program history in the NCAA tournament, and moves on to a round of 16 matchup in the Nebraska region. Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Seventh win for Michelle Collier, most in program history for Georgia Tech. And for Mary Wise, just missed it.
here losing in the fifth set to Georgia Tech. Our thanks to our entire ESPN Plus crew for bringing you the great pictures tonight from Gainesville as the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets move on to the round of 16 in the NCAA Tournament. I'm Tom Collette saying so long from Gainesville. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.